Hello friends, my name is Ramsu. Today we shall discuss about a topic that what is Secure File Transfer Protocol or SFTP. Friend, today's topic is very interesting, especially if you have interest in technology or uh, file transferring. So uh, let's uh, start. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. And also you can follow me on the Facebook page as well. Friend, uh, Secure File Transfer Protocol SFTP is a file for protocol for transferring large files over the web. It builds on the file transfer protocol FTP and includes Secure Shell SHH security components. Secure Shell is a cryptographic component of internet security. SSH and SFTP were designed by the Internet Engineering Task Force IETF for greater web security. SFTP transfers file security using SSH and encrypted FTP commands to avoid password sniffing and exposing sensitive information in plain text. Since the client needs to be authenticated by the server, SFTP also protects against man in the middle attacks. SFTP can be handy in all situations where sensitive data needs to be protected. For example, trade secrets may not be covered by any particular data privacy rule, but it can be devastating for them to fall into the wrong hands. So a business under might use SFTP to transmit files containing trade secrets or other similar information, a private user may want to encrypt his or her communications as well. This term is also known as Secure Shell SSH File Transfer Protocol. SFTP is a client server protocol that can be launched either as a command line or through a graphical user interface. In the first type of setup, the user has to type in a specific command lines to generate the SFTP protocol, usually in a Linux environment. The later option makes use of a program that abstracts the use of SFTP visually for end users. The SFTP protocol runs over the SSH protocol using the normal SSH port 22 and supports multiple concurrent operations. The client identifies each operation with a unique number that must match the server response. A request can be processed asynchronously. The SFTP protocol is initiated only when the user uses the SSH to log into the server to avoid leaving additional ports exposed or maintaining additional authentication. An SFTP server requires both communicating parties to authenticate themselves either by providing a user ID and password or by validating an SSH key or both. One half of the SSH key is stored on the computer of the two clients while the other half is loaded on the server and associated with their account public key. Only when the SSH key pair matches, then authentication can occur. Now what is SFTP used for? SFTP is a successor to FTP is used for many situations where file security is important. One of the biggest ones is the comply with the standards like the Federal Health Insurance Portability and Accessibility Act that governs protected health information. Any business, even a third party working with a hospital or healthcare provider must keep its PHI confidential and that includes during this transition through networks in digital packet form. That's why SFTP can be useful in securing this type of data. SFTP is one of the several options for shielding that data in transfer to make sure that hackers don't obtain it and that the company does not unwittingly perform a violation of if that law applies. SFTP can also satisfy other standards for data protection. 
Some users who are relatively new to SFTP as a protocol ask whether it is preferable to use SFTP or a virtual private network. Both systems will protect data but they are not the same. SFTP is a protocol whereas VPN is a secure encrypted tunnel for data. With that in mind, information can also be sent using SFTP protocol through a VPN making the transfer even more secure. SFTP can also be seen as an improvement over the FTPs which is just an FTP protocol run over transport layer security TLS or secure socket layer SSL. FTP does in fact require complex firewall configurations as ports 9, uh, 8, 9 and 9 and 0 need to be open depends on a centralized public certificate authority and is prone to file corruption since it draw defaults to ASCII mode. The use of SSH and SFTP are part of a sea change toward internet security as we approach web, web 3.0 the semantic web. Secure file transfer protocol also called SSH file transfer protocol is a network protocol for accessing transferring and managing files on remote systems. SFTP allows businesses to securely transfer billing data, funds and data recovery files. SFTP uses SSH to transfer files and requires that the client be authenticated by the server. Commands and data are encrypted in order to prevent passwords and other sensitive information from being exposed to the network in plain text. SFTP was developed by the Internet Engineering Task Force IETF to securely transfer and manage files over a TCP IP network. SFTP uses the same commands as the standard file transfer protocol FTP. Then uh, friend, uh, SFTP client for Windows and Macintosh, uh, the popular most Many SFTP client implementation are available. Many SSH clients support SFTP which are uh, Tactia SSH client, WinSCP, FileZilla and Putty and CyberDuck. SFTP server for Linux, Windows and Macintosh. SFTP server usually comes as part of an SSH implementation. Most organization use either uh, Tactia SSH or Open SSH as the server both come with SFTP server implementation out of the box. Tactia SSH server for Windows, Tactia SSH server for IBM Z OS mainframes, Open SSH open source server for Linux and Unix, FileZera a free F uh, SFTP server for Windows. So uh, friend, thank you. Thanks a lot for watching the video. I hope uh, you like this video. If you like it, please share it with the friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video. Thank you friends.